Hello everyone, my name is Aditya Patel, Director of Product at Hot West Commerce. Welcome to my Ionic conference talk about how you can use the community Ionic Figma file to go from design to code faster. Ionic is a brilliant platform for building cross-platform applications from a single code base. The Ionic UI components have custom styling to match the look and feel of both iOS and Material UI. So designers should really be able to go ahead and use the Apple or Google UI kits and build and design their apps. Then a developer fairly familiar with Ionic should be able to churn out a fairly similar looking app with limited CSS. But in reality, this isn't actually what's happening. And there's a few reasons why. For one of the reasons, for example, is that the component vocabulary between Ionic, iOS, and Material doesn't always match up. A designer may use a tab component in their Material design, but now they have to rely on a developer to have a deep understanding of Ionic UI and Material UI to correctly translate the tab component from, a, from Material to the segments component in Ionic. From designer to developer, that's at least one layer of entropy. Another example is that Google and Apple often have different design guidelines, and many times neither of those line up directly with how an Ionic UI component is meant to be customized out of the box. This means design teams create apps that adhere to specific design principles of one platform, but can't easily be recreated in Ionic without heavy customization. From my experience, this is another massive layer of entropy when going from design to code. In an effort to speed up development and break down walls between designers and developers, I created the Ionic Figma Community UI Kit. And most of the components in this Figma file are built from the ground up to, re to reflect and operate exactly or close to how they would for a developer using Ionic UI components. As an example, here's a button. Now for designers, creating a bigger version of this button is as simple as clicking and dragging, changing the font size, and maybe the border radius. But all of a sudden, what we've really done is added a whole new dimension to the design that now the development team has to be informed of. Maybe they'll have to add a whole new class for this button, or maybe they'll use some utility classes to match the designs. Now, Ionic already has button sizes built in, and so does the Figma file. This means, as a designer, I'll simply select a large variant of this button component. Now when, a design, now, when a developer inspects my Figma file, they can see that they're supposed to use the large variant of the ion button component. And if they ever need to reference documentation for this component, all links to ionic documentation are built right into the Figma file. The benefits of a UI kit like this are most immediate for teams and organizations that need to focus on going from design to implementation as fast as possible. It also allows designers to get sign off on UI that is far easier to hand off to developers. Additionally, it also gets them involved in the development process, which is arguably even more valuable. Because now they understand the components that the developers are using at a code level. So when a UI-related problem inevitably arises, instead of leaving developers to their own devices, which is usually just adding important next to a line of CSS to get what you want, design teams can now suggest alternate UI components or quickly refactor designs to get around those hurdles. Now this brings up a question of, does this mean that all apps have to look the same and now all Ionic apps are just going to look like an Ionic app? Well, the goal of an Ionic UI kit for designers is not to lock them down into just one look. In fact, this UI kit makes it easier for them to pick up pre-built Ionic UI components and style them to match the look and feel they want to create. So instead of handing over a custom component that's unrecognizable, designers can have a real conversation with developers of what Ionic component they started with, how they molded it to get the look and feel that they wanted and fit their vision. A great live example of where something like this could help is the Mr. Beast Burger website, which is built in Ionic. If we take a look at the side menu here, we can see a list of items. Now, most Ionic UI developers would look at this and think, okay, this is fairly simple. It's a menu with a list, and the list is a list of a bunch of Ion items with an icon in the start slot of the item. 
pretty straightforward, probably no more than a few lines of CSS and to get it matched up with the branding. But these aren't Ionic items, Ionic components or Ion items at all. Each of them is just a div with a bunch of classes applied to them to get the desired output. Now, there may be a perfectly valid reason for not using ion items here, but it sure seems like if the design team had an easy way to use an ion item in their designs, the development team would not have had to come up with their own markup, styling, and deal with the additional code maintenance that this requires. The end result is that their code ended up looking like this instead of this. Learning a new UI kit in Figma can be a pretty jarring experience, especially because you don't know the best ways to use or customize components. So questions like, when should I detach an instance component from the master component eh, naturally come up. To help ease the learning curve, I've created a series of YouTube tutorials that walk through how to dive in and the best ways to create your own designs. Additionally, all the Ionic apps that we design and develop for Hot Waste Commerce are all available in the UI kit. So you can kind of click around in them and see how you can use uh, the components in the UI kit to create your own apps. For developers and even designers who want to see what example code looks like, all of the apps in the file are also available in open source on GitHub. Browsing through the code of these apps is a great way to understand how, as a developer, you can analyze, analyze designs in Figma and leverage the Ionic framework to implement them. If you have more questions about something specific or questions about using Figma files, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, comment on the community Figma file itself, or reach out on, the disc on Discord. Now, before I wrap up, I had a few quick tips uh, for getting started while designing with the Ionic UI kit. So I'm just going to quickly run through those. The first tip is to always make sure to check layers inside of components for additional functionality, because not all component functionality is available in the, uh, the component variant menu. Um, but checking and uh, understanding the layers of a component will keep you from sometimes replicating functionality that's already available in the library. Number two is that all the Ionicons are built into the community file, um, so you don't have to manually import Ionicons when you need them or SVGs. Uh, they're all available right in the file as components, so you can use different, uh, so you can swap between them pretty easily. Lastly, um, if you want to extend the functionality of any Figma compo component in Figma, make sure to always check if you can achieve what you're trying to do with instance swapping. Because most of the components are built from other smaller components, most of the subcomponents can be swapped out for other components without detaching the instance from the master component. Most of the time you'll see this in the example designs uh, happening with ion items. That wraps up my talk on how to use the community Ionic Figma file to design and develop faster. Um, hopefully you found this useful. Thank you so much for joining and enjoy the rest of Ionic Conference.